Senor. Well, as, a, as a citizen and one who has been involved in a number of these causes for the greater good and see how things are playing out in Parliament now, government business been halted effectively. And with what we are seeing, the latest now, even the attempt to recall Parliament may hit a snag if things continue this way. It's a disgrace. I think that now these are political wings and uh, arms of government just want to engage in the charades like we are doing with Galamsey. We need to get real. How can we change what is true simply because it doesn't favor us today? And this is a house of honorables. It's a dishonorable submission and, and representation. We must stop this nonsense. Children are watching. People are watching. It should be an honorable house. Why should what is right change because today it's not favoring you? If the MPP had a seat margin of about 30, would this have been a conversation? <laughs> You know, let's stop these things. I mean, so I was listening to my uh, the MP on on and said, please won't die, won't die. This thing is a very straightforward thing. One, you should understand one thing: don't over legalize the constitution. For starters, the constitution is not a very pure uh, what uh, procedural uh, uh, what you call it this uh, uh, jurisprudence something something something. It is a reflection of the will of the people at any point in time. Go and read what two four verses Attorney General and look at it. Listen, listen, look, uh, read the ruling of uh, uh, Justice E and so on. If I let me go and look for that thing, cry and give it to you. I mean, we should stop these things. We have to stop. This is this is what what uh, uh, Justice Sowa said. He said that a written constitution such as ours is not an ordinary act of Parliament. It embodies the will of a people. It mirrors their history. Account therefore needs to be taken of it as a landmark in a people's search for progress. And more importantly, it contains within it their aspirations and their hope for a better and fuller life. That constitution was not just crafted out of some legalistic engagement. It came out of an engagement with the people. This is one of the most functional constitutions we've had because it was done as what it was, it was as a cons consultative consultative, consultative assembly. assembly. Hairdressers were part of those who did this thing. You didn't need a, a, what a legal certificate to come here. Everybody should find ownership in the constitution and speak about the representation therein. Let's go to this matter that is at the heart of it. It's a very simple matter. A member of parliament shall vacate the seat in parliament. These are the conditions. Let me just jump straight to this uh, age matter. If he was elected a member of parliament as an independent candidate and joins a political party, they don't even give you time. The moment you join a political party, you are out. I'll come and tell you what I see as I experience of the people in this part of the conversation. Details, if he leaves the party of which he was a member at the time of his election to parliament to join another party or seeks to remain in parliament as an independent. Look, this is the, the matter here is very simple. Nobody needs to go and bring any spirit from Nogopo or anywhere or from my village to come and tell you this thing. One plus one is equal to two. Two become 2.1. Because today you are calling yourself honorable, you are calling yourself dishonorable. It's your problem. My guy, the essence of this is to make sure you do not fraudulently relate with the people who give you a mandate to sit there. The constitution realizes that the political ticket on which you stand is a major consideration for us as electorates to empower you to represent us. When we go and vote, we don't go and vote as members of a party. We go and vote as citizens. And we vote you to go there and represent this, us. This, this and there are a number of things that we put in context to make that decision. It includes your kind of political coloration because we also connect it to what kind of policies and kind of orientation that will guide you. Mm -hmm. So your pre-electoral political status cannot be varied. The moment you vary it, because it's a central consideration for us as electorates, you have to come back to us as electorates to see if we'll give your new coloration and our new estimation of your direction the mandate to continue to represent us or not. Mm -hmm. That's why why you're saying you had this problem. You shift, you come out. We vote you back. It's okay. If we don't vote you back, you pack yourself. That is how the, the, we just want to avoid political fraud. So you don't come to us as electorate and change. We all know that this is the reason why this thing is there. That's why it actually goes back to actually deal with the independent matter. 
the moment you join a party, I have a lot of respect, and I really like it. What's the name? The the the, 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 the first deputy speaker, the formula MP. Mm -hmm. uh, he, second, second dep he supported our our advocacy during the DDP. I like him, and I love him any day. But this one, the Yuba. You know, say you bad. So let's stop this thing and just make sure we create a very stable state. The country is already fragile. Let's not create unnecessary buhaha. To to this extent, what is it that is really being lost? Apart from egos in this matter, what is it that the majority NDC can be able to do without the assent of a president? I don't know what it is that they think they are losing between now and December seventh or January seventh. Please let's get real, negotiate, and let's get practical. Be consistent with our representation. These facts are clear. It won't change today. It won't change tomorrow. Nobody can interpret this matter differently. You are a criminal to try and interpret this. You have been dishonorable to the people of Ghana. You if you try to interpret Article 97. Chief Justice, Justice Chief, whatever it is, Alfred, put Alfred, everybody you together. To you cannot change, please. I beg you. You see me? I don't what, want this what, kind. We, we, what, what, I beg what, you, what, my brother. We, senor, senor, my brother, senor, let me senor, finish. Senor, we sometimes senor, make senor, the thing go into the sky. It is not in the sky. The thing is on ground. Let's be honest. You are speaking. I want you to make your point in clarity. Mr. Zafar, I'm going to come to you. Hold on. Because I, I would ask you a question. Now, you are saying that based on your understanding, what on understanding? Anybody of can read your, English. Of, of, of this was written by was written by businessmen like myself, like hairdressers, carpenters were all uh -huh. part of those who wrote this thing. You didn't need to go and get LLB to come and write be part of this constitution. Okay. We are all part of it, so we are all shareholders in this constitution. We understand it. Fair point. Indeed. Some things are black and white. Let's just deal with it. We are building a certain democracy. It's a project. Let's not get too comfortable. People are losing confidence in democracy. And read, check their Afrobarometer mm -hmm. for a while now. So your conduct as MPs, your conduct as political parties, to continue to engender confidence and help reverse this derailing confidence in, in democracy. So when we start by changing what is right and wrong, only because it favors us today or doesn't favor us tomorrow. What confidence do we have in our political structures? And you know, for things that are very clear, open like this, it's the last thing you want to argue and fight. And okay, you can have your funny debates in parliament, but look at the next step, what happens? What this single step and move by, 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 by the MPP and the judiciary has done is to actually further fracture the pillars of our democracy. And that brings me to the issue about, 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 about the Supreme Court. Look at how the Supreme Court handled this. Justice must not just be done. It must be seen to be done. Everybody understands that the executive and the legislature will always have a very fierce political engagement. Mm -hmm. The bedrock of our democracy, besides the people, the institution of state that's supposed to give us that base and consistency is the judiciary. The moment people lose hope in the judiciary, you should know that your democracy is set for crashing, is set for going out. And we can't afford that. How many of us sit here, I don't hear people say we need a, 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 a benevolent dictator? Let's be honest. Don't you hear these comments every time? Why should we want one? We need to sustain our democracy because people are losing confidence in the democracy. So the moment the judiciary is seen, to be joining that party, then we have a crisis. So when I heard the see that is going to preach somewhere, and please, you should stop doing this thing. The last time we had <laughs> people going around and preaching and wearing white, it wasn't good for this country. So what's you your know, point? Please, I beg you. She is not in any eye of any storm. If any title, she is the storm, and Ghana is in her eye. She must focus on trying to make sure that her policy decisions sustain confidence in our existing structures and systems. It can't be affordable for all of us to have people generally start thinking that our judiciary has been captured by the executive. It is not right. We won't have a democracy going forward. We will legitimize anybody's will to interfere with our democracy. Mm -hmm. So please, parliamentarians, please, let's all stop this thing. We all know what it is. We should stop this concert we are all doing. Everybody is watching. There's a bigger goal, which is Ghana. There's a bigger goal, the consistency of our democracy. Let's focus on achieving that. And the judge is there. I beg you, you go and hide. The democracy, when it happens, it will face you fair and square. 
for, I say, but you see, it is within yeah, the Afe, democratic Afe, rights of anybody Afe. to want to seek an interpretation of Afe. it. And so and that's why I want you to just in you can go and seek. This. I'm saying that certain wait, wait, things. You made a point. You can't about, go and capitalize about, in the name about, of Ghana about, and the constitution is no more Ghana. This be, be, Miss me, I don't. A criminal. You no, don't no, want no. to you say see, that. Uh, well, okay, let me uh, retract that. Yes. First, so let me retract that. that but no, 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 no. In my opinion, mm -hmm. that kind of 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 of, of okay. effort to try and misrepresent and misinterpret things that are so obvious is very, very, very unpatriotic. And I think and that it is, it is, it is policy fraudulent. That's my opinion. You know, that's my opinion. That it's, it's just not right. Aspect. Who decides that standard? We can't. Wait, wait, wait. hold on. It's not blue. Who decides oh, that standard? Black is Listen black and white is white. I don't no, need to decide it. You need to decide it. May I say we should stop all this thing? We are wasting our time having this conversation. We all know what is right. You can't say yesterday, yesterday when he favored you, it was white. Today that is not favoring you, it is black. What kind of country are we building? You cannot sit on your TV and say, oh, my friend, I'll sit on TV and tell you what you are saying is honest. Hold on. Hold on. Is Mr. this honest? Stop it. Mr. I have an what exactly? Stop. It's not opinion matter. Hold you hold see that it's black and white. Just say opinion. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to use my opinion. Hold on. You must stop hold this on. thing. And I sought to have you yeah. specifically but withdraw that. Statement. I've withdrawn the criminal bits. So. I've withdrawn the criminal bits. What's your point exactly? What's your What's your point exactly? You don't sit there and, and, and insult everybody. Because have, 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 have insulted. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Who, 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 who have I insulted? Hold on. Will you put to it? No, no, Mr. Somebody, Zipper, what's, what's, when he says you is black, you when he doesn't say that he is white. He wanted to make a point of intervention. I'm giving you that. What was your issue? That nobody should have an opinion. I have but he his opinion. I'm saying that <laughs> as honorable <laughs> people, be honest <laughs> about things like this. They are sensitive to our democracy. Gentlemen, I don't just be. Say that talking for talking let, me, let me listen to opinion, him. And for that matter, that person is a criminal. You can't say that. Oh, we are please. in a democratic dispensation. For starters, I have withdrawn the criminal bill. Everybody can have his interpretation to the Constitution. If I have my and you disagree, respectfully disagree. But you go ahead and you stop people because I'm having an opinion. You don't do that. The same okay. to four versus attorney general that uh -huh. you read. Yes. Says that the Constitution is a living organism. It uh -huh. is capable of growth. So the fact that there has been a ruling in Congress doesn't mean that manner. the so same So it can grow from, 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 from white to black. cannot depart from it. <laughs> if you depart from it, depart today. The Supreme Court itself can have a, a, a review of its own decision. Oh, agree. It must be grounded. Wow. Agree. It, it must be grounded. Gentlemen, hold on. Does it mean you are a criminal? No. Hold on. No, not at all. Uh, for such yeah. a don't, don't, don't pass the criminal bit. I've already indicated that I've withdrawn the criminal bit. But hold let's be honorable hold about it. Hold on. So, so, so I have told so, you I've so, withdrawn so, the criminal bit. So, so, so I've withdrawn that. Hold on. An opinion. Senor, and I didn't senor, say you were a criminal senor, too. Senor. Because somebody has an opinion. No, but I'm saying that be honest about your opinion. So, so, so when that is black and white, let's just face it and go. So you've made your point. Now, Mr. Savoy, so so I think that it's a issue. It's in that break what was said there. You have made your point. You made that intervention. What I saw. To when find your wife out from you, when your wife left the independent hold on. and what? joined the new patriotic party, was okay. there a ruling by any speaker at the time? Please, please, let's be consistent. Was there a ruling by a speaker at the time in 2012 to declare the vacant, uh, to declare the vacancy of that seat? Yes, that's not the first time this happened. I was in parliament. Please don't do that. Okay, ah, please so let's not do that. No, right. So, what, what right. is he so, so, what, what exactly is your point in this? My point is that you allowed him to throw rubbish. The no. people. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I don't have a problem so, 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 with thinking that what I said was rubbish. But if you so, listen to so, yourself, I think you did your own rubbish. Hold on. Possibly hold on, like that. On. So I take your time and listen. Is that, is that, is that we can put that to a vote and we'll see who's really sounding like rubbish. Hold on. Hold on. You. Ah, you've read the thing. You've gone to law school. You even don't need to go to law school to know. This is one plus. You have made your point. Now, Mr. Zefwa, you sought to make an intervention. Create chaos over nothing in this country. Now, after I got him to withdraw that specific statement, mm. continuously hammered on it. Because it's only I was just hoping that you were going to make a substantive point of disagreement. He should. Now, so what, what is the that issue of disagreement with him? Yes. Quoted. Yes. That same to four versus attorney general says that the constitution is a living organism. Yes. Okay. It is capable of growth. So a decision could have been made in 2020. 
That decision can be reviewed. No, it's not a decision. Of this is the problem. That is my, that is my, if today, oh, hold on. I have an hold opinion and I have a different understanding about the law. What is You insult that me because I have a different understanding of the law. Mm -hmm. is not their constitution. The constitution. Okay. I'm listening to you. Michael Quay gave an interpretation of the law. Forget about him. And, and you are saying that Michael Quay's interpretation at the time cannot be contested. I haven't said that. Well meaning yeah. Ghanaian. I haven't no. said okay. that. So I have if my you are if you are if you are if you are seeking to if if you are saying that I'm not saying that okay, hold on. Hold on. So, so, your microphone is off actually. The parliament at the time to have even assumed jurisdiction to have dealt with the matter. Number one. Number two, it is also wrong today. For the Speaker of Parliament, that is Bagwin, to assume responsibility to rule on this matter because per Article 99, it does not lie within his ambit to do so. Okay, what, what, what the Speaker did? did what what the Speaker, what the speaker did? You. Hold on, uh -huh. what the Speaker did? Last week, yes. you, 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 you stated on this program that yes. based on your own honest understanding, and yes. I'm quoting you that you said honestly you don't think the speaker ruled on this particular issue no you i said, said that. the speaker i said honestly the speaker did not interpret the constitution i Indeed. did not say he did not rule good so if I the speaker did not rule. interpret the constitution but only communicated as he, yes. he stated when he was putting out that decision he said he was only seeking to apply the constitution right. Right. Where then lies this point that you have just made? I am saying that the Speaker, <laughs> per Article 2 and 130, the combined effect of these two provisions. My brother. Hello? When he is back. No, 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 no. You, no, you know. Uh, lies only with the Supreme yeah, Court. Let, let me... So what he sought, per his own understanding, especially within the Supreme Court. So in my estimation, the Supreme Court, um, the Speaker of Parliament have no. interpreted the constitution the way he did let us leave that for the high court to declare and if there's an issue of an interpretation the high court will now refer it to the supreme court that was the point i made if you have any different opinion to what i'm saying please respectfully say so don't go ahead to insult people oh, it's no. about insult okay that's why i don't think that hold on you. gentlemen hold on Which i don't think that wait, listen please i don't think that if you keep on talking about somebody specifically insulting you. Nobody has done that on this program. And there was a point of disagreement. Please, he said, he there are said divergent that views that and opinions no, on this matter. No, please, Just as no. you have also espoused your different view and opinion, that doesn't amount to an insult. If you specifically indicate that somebody insulted you, I don't think that it is good for the for 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 the program in itself. As so if, respectfully, if somebody says I, that, I would, you are putting I would, your I would, own I would, I would, to I would, the no. and that is dishonest, and that amounts to criminality. No, what but does that mean? you 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 had me have him withdraw that. So why are you continuously making reference? So to that? it means that. So, Zazafa, thank you. I think you, you've made an intervention, but stay with us. Stay with us. Yes. Okay. 